Hi, my name is Morgan. Welcome to the tour. We are in the tropical rainforest. Any questions before we begin? Great. Many people prefer the grasslands, but I don't. I prefer the tropical rainforest. First, we're going to be talking about some of the animals in the rainforest. Then we're going to talk about the actual rainforest. First is the sugar glider. Its really bushy tail helps it keep its balance while flying. Next, we're going to the three-toed sloth. It's the world's slowest mammal. So slow that it's very common for algae to grow in its fur. Next, we're talking about the green bellus lizard. It's so fast that it can run on water. They're good swimmers when they get tired. Next, we're going to the strawberry poison dart frog. It has a toxic touch. Next, we're going to the African gray parrot. I saved this one for last because it's so smart that once it, one of them learned how to use a computer. Now on to the rainforest. It's located near the equator. It covers 7% of, of the Earth's surface and contains more than 50% of the Earth's plant and animal species. The population of the rainforest is large and diverse. Sometimes no, it's sometimes known as the lungs of the planet because the plant life there provides a great deal of our oxygen while absorbing all of our carbon dioxide. They're in the tropics where it's warm and wet all year long. The temperatures there never fall below 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The rainforest can have six and a half to 30 feet of rainfall in a year. The canopy is where you would find the majority of living things. The understory is where you'd find the leafy part of shrubs. The forest floor, the forest floor has mushrooms and fallen leaves. Since most of the nutrients in the soil are used up by the trees, it makes it not good for farming, though the rainforest is destroyed to make farms. Logging, mining, farming, and grazing animals all threaten the rainforest and its valuable resources, including the plants we use to make chocolate and coffee. Many medicines can be made from plants in the rainforest. Surprising fact, one, of, one rainforest species become extinct every 15 minutes. My cameraman is going to show you the pictures again, all of them. I'm going to get my pet, George. He's an eyelash crested gecko, and eyelash crested geckos are found in New Caledonia, high in the trees of the rainforest. I'm going to go get him right now. I'm back. This is George. As I told you before, he's an eyelash crested gecko. He has
has little pads on his toes and the flat of his feet and on his tail. His tail's so awesome. So that means he can hold on to things like Spider-Man. Like that. He, he has really strong hind legs. He can jump up to like three feet. We're gonna, t we're gonna take a little trip over to his habitat. Come on. This is my pet's habitat. Obviously, the rainforest or jungle wouldn't have a heating pad and fake plants, but it's a good idea of what it looks like. Now, I'm just going to put them right back in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.